man, do I sure wish I had a screwdriver with about every single bit that I could ever need. Wow, what is this? It's the Alleyman 4 volt cordless screwdriver with multiple bits with a one year warranty. This video is made possible by 343 Studios. Hey guys, what's going on? Nathan343 here. And that's right, you heard it. We have the Alleyman 4 volt cordless screwdriver with a 4 volt lithium ion battery. That's right, 4 volt. And it's lithium ion. And guess what? It has multiple bits. Let's see what it's got. It even comes in a case. Okay, so we got the case. It opens up. Two some screw bits. All different kinds. The drill itself. And a charge cord. But no... Yeah, no charge plug. It does come with one of these, which are nice to have as well for extensions. So the cord that is in here shows that it comes with a power plug. That is not the case here. Okay, guys. Hey, how's it going? We are here in the garage and we've got this cool little Alleyman drill. So I'm going to show you in studio how you use this, but it's real simple. Uh, so you've got like a deal that holds a bunch of bits in here. And if you need different bits, you can just pull this and a bit goes, disappears. You turn to whatever bit you're going to need. It locks, got a little clicking in there, and then you push it back forward and the new bit comes out. So what we're going to do is I've got to drill a couple screws in here to help fix this board here. That's kind of coming loose in the garage next to the uh, door here. And uh, we're going to see if it'll drive this two inch screw through that wood. <laughs> no, it will not. So. <laughs> so this doesn't have crap for power, at least on this one. Let me switch bits here, maybe. So this is going to be more likely for your little screws. Like, let me see if it'll drill through this. And this is a fully, fully charged battery. So I'm not really super pressed, impressed with that. This is supposed to be a drill, but I guess you can't really use it for big stuff. Like your, your bigger styled screws. So we can try to go in here. Get you all up here a little closer. I am doing this one handed. It just loses power instantly, so. Okay, well. <clears throat> it won't drill through that. Okay, again, so what you wanna do is you've got your bit here. Now you can pull this bit out, take it out, put it back in. So you see that's locked. So what you gotta do is you just gotta basically pull it apart like so, okay? And then you turn this. So you got, just keep turning. See, I don't know if you can see how that's turning. See it turning in there? And then you pop it back out. Now you got a flathead. You don't need a flathead, you need something else. Say you need a uh, T25. Well, you turn here. And I gotta line it up right here. Now you can see there's a window right there so you can kind of see what bit you've got. And now you've got a bit. Now this might work to take apart you know, uh, headlight, taillight, um, screws, stuff like that. 
So this is basically gonna work for like trim pieces and different kinds of small stuff around your house, like uh, taking screws off of um, like uh, switch plate covers. This is a basically a home drill. This isn't gonna be used for anything bigger than something small, you know, a toy that you need to take apart, put batteries in it. This would work perfect for that. Uh, so yeah, let's go back in the studio. All right, guys, we are back in the studio, as you see here. And I want to say thanks again to Alan Wynn for sitting this over. Again, I tried it on, you know, putting screws into wood. It's a drill, and it will take a screw out that's already there, as long as it's not super deep in there. But putting one in, it just doesn't seem like it has the torque to put one in. So this basically would be for a small uh, project thing. Say you're taking screws out of a speaker. Uh, it would probably be good for that. Uh, if you're taking, you're redoing some speakers and you're taking your screws out for your handles or you're taking your speakers out or something, that'd be perfect for that. But if you're trying to build something to put, you know, build something out of two by fours or something, it'll do it a little bit, but the long three, two, three inch screws doesn't seem like it has the power once it gets in there so far. And it is fully charged. But again, I do want to show you, pop it out. You can turn it. It would be cool if it would turn itself every time you did that, but just that would make, and then you can pop out your bit. And if you look real close, when you pull this out, maybe, <laughs> the bit disappears, as you can see, and there's the bit. Rotate to the next bit till it stops. It kind of got a little deal in there that locks. Push out, now you got another bit. And it comes with bits, so you can take these bits out. Pop it out. Pop this thing out. And you can put in your own bits in there. You know what this looks like. I'm not gonna say it, but we know what this looks like. That's one thing I don't really like about it, but it works. Here you are with a flathead. So you can put any screw bits you want in here. It does have an extension. If you want to take this out, put an extension on it to get it out further. It does come with that. It is battery up. Would make a little cool little gift for anybody. Um, I don't know if an elderly person could open that. It does take a little bit of force to kind of get it to open a little bit. Uh, but this would be perfect for someone that does a little like phone repairs or uh, tablet repairs. This would be perfect for that. In-home, little in-home deals where you're taking off plates for your your light switches if you're painting. This would be awesome for a painter. Someone that's doing small jobs that doesn't require a lot of power. Because if you're going to use it or need a lot of power, you're going to need a drill like this or the Saker one we just reviewed or something of that nature. So it is cool. It, it does work. It's another thing I've noticed. If you pull it too hard, too quick, like we can push that back up in there, you will lose your bit. <laughs> it will pop out. So check it out. The Alloyman, little four volt, little battery operated. You charge it right here. It does have a little, a little light right here that does come on when you use it. Remember those old battery screwdrivers used to snap in and they'd charge? That basically is what this is. So it's a little screwdriver, little battery operated. It is cool. It is lithium ion power. So power until dead, the same power. Um, I didn't notice a change between when it when I got it to when I fully charged it. So pretty much same power uh, But anyway, go check it out link in the description Stay tuned to the channel because I think we got more Alleyman stuff coming and you don't want to miss it So thanks to Alleyman for sending this over and we'll see you guys in the next one. Go check it out. What are you waiting for?